Okay, this is a bit more like it. My review of the second generation LG Tone Free last year was a bit muted, and I had a lot of concerns for LG shipping an open ear earbud. But now we're here with a third generation Tone Free with a lot of the tech tricks I liked from the second gen and an inner aural design. Now we're looking at the top of the line FN6 with all the bells and whistles. A cute little white puck was dropped off, Meridian branding on the inside of the case, and the individual drivers are AirPod style now, with the little stalks that stick out like you cut off the cables from a regular pair of earbuds. It's not my favorite look. No hardware buttons on the driver. Everything is controlled through taps on the casing. Now, the tech side on LG Tones is always formidable. Pairing is awesome. This is still the best implementation of auto detection and pairing I've seen on an Android device. You can attach the buds to your Gmail account. LG's companion app has improved nicely with a ton of features to play with, some basic profiles for audio tuning. You can change some of the tap controls, toggle notification support, earbud tracking, ambient sound mode, there's a lot to play with. While a lot of companies try to piggyback on the popularity of AirPods, the Tone series have always been a tech forward solution and in Android land, ahead of the curve for audio interactions. A much closer competitor would actually be the current Galaxy Buds for compatibility and mobile interactions. The way Tone earbuds notify and read notifications is super helpful, but sadly, these new tones don't support voice replies. One of my favorite features on the original tones, how you could listen and then respond and have a whole exchange of messages through speech to text and never have to touch your phone. Now, any action you wanna take like that has to go through Google Assistant, which still cannot figure out that when I say Marie, I'm talking about my wife's first name and not my mom's middle name. But I digress, back to the buds. A concern for some folks with your ears blocked, LG now includes an ambient sound mode. Pass-through helps take the edge off situational awareness. I think it's too loud when you fire it up out of the box, but there is a slider in the app to drop the world volume down just a little bit. And on the buds themselves, it's just so nice having multiple tap commands, single, double, and triple tap, and long pressing options. There's no excuse in this day and age to not have on earbud volume controls. Though I will say that the triple tap has proven a little inconsistent for me to pull off. So I'm currently using that as my shortcut for Google Assistant because Google Assistant cannot tell the difference between my mom's middle name and my wife's first name. They must be the same person cause they're both Marie, but I digress again. Back to the buds. Ear proximity detection helps reduce power drain. The buds fall back to a lower power mode when they see that they aren't in your skull. And considering the price point, there's also some interesting tech in the charge case. The earbuds themselves are rated for up to six hours of playback. And I was good for about five on my first full real charge. And the case will top the buds off two more times for a total of 18 hours of playback in the field. Wireless charging is built into the puck and these charge super fast. Five minutes in the case should be good for around an hour of playback. You want as little downtime as possible when you're dealing with true wireless. And like the second generation tone free last year, the case includes little UV lamps to disinfect your ear tips. I get really grossed out by how some people handle their earbuds. It's nice to know you can kill most of the bacteria that might culture on the tips of your earbuds. There's always so much cool tech and LG does a great job of treating earbuds as a direct augmentation of your phone. But this is audio gear, so how do they sound? Well, not bad. The main issue for me was fit immediately. I prefer this over open ear earbuds. Already, this is a win and an improvement over last year's Tone Free. Block more noise in my environment and audio quality improves. And for those who are worried about situational awareness, there are better options for leaving your ears open to hear the world around you. Open ear earbuds are really not my favorite. Earbuds are a very personal kind of wearable technology, and this is a very personal commentary on my use. Your mileage will vary, but LG's ear tips were kind of tricky for me to get a good fit in my ear canal. With the stock ear tips in my ears, I think the sound was just a bit thin. Even cranking up Meridian's bass boost filter, my favorite club and hip hop tracks just 
felt kind of hollow. Thankfully, they never got shrill, but I think we're a ways off from some of my favorite LG Tone neckbands. And because of how they fit in my ears, more sound leaked in than I would have preferred. Now, I know ANC is a cool feature for earbuds these days, but most of that noise reduction really should be accomplished through a better fit. So, I had to try. I swapped out the tone tips and found some foam that clicked on nice and snug, and this combination sounded so much better for me. Everything filled out. The lows had more presence, the mids got sharper, I could back off the bass boost, and custom EQ adjustments sounded so much better. But here's the problem. The LG charge case has zero clearance for a longer ear tip. You can't close the case so you can't charge the earbuds. And also, even if these do fit well for you, it's just important to know that if you lose the tips here, you're probably not going to be able to easily find replacements. You'll probably need to source replacements directly from LG to make sure they fit in the case. But okay, that's enough rambling from me. We should probably arrive at some kind of conclusion. Where's that leave us with the LG Tone Free FN6? I'm still holding to my split decision from the second generation Tone Free. There's more Venn diagram overlap, but some earbuds are better for communication and tech, and some earbuds are better for multimedia consumption. From generation two to generation three, Multimedia gets a nice shot in the arm for an in-ear design, but I miss a few of the voice action commands and message replies. The rest of the techie stuff is still on point. This is a solid entry into the $150 tier of True Wireless, where Galaxy Buds and AirPods live, and we're trading some features back and forth between these different brands. No one company wins, it's more what pros and cons do you want to live with. I still lean towards the tone free as being better communication buds, but now with nicely improved audio playback. Taking phone calls, getting awesome notification support, sound tracking, other activities like workouts, listening to podcasts, and being able to hear the world around you. These are top tier performers in their price range. Sitting and listening, making audio the activity you want to pay attention to, I don't know that these would be my top pick. And my reviews just continue to reinforce that I can't say there's one good solution for all headphone activities. I still think the best strategy is to have two or three modestly priced options that focus on specific activities rather than expecting one solution can cover all of your audio bases. We're in basic AirPod price territory with in-ear tips, and a wireless charge case. So I think these are the right path for LG moving forward, especially after what we got last year. For those folks paying attention to the feature set they need, I think you're gonna find a solid solution here. I'll of course leave some links down below for more information on the LG Tone Free and some of the other models which are cheaper than the FN6. Now some decent options to shop around. You might wanna check them out. Audio is always going to be my first love and it's my favorite category of accessories to review. If you'd like to help support the production of these audio reviews and get more conversations like this, there are those links down below. There's a support page on somegadgetguy.com, or you might consider joining the list of names currently scrolling by on your screen. That's a growing community of fun, like-minded tech pals, a huge resource for me as I'm planning future videos and reviews and editorials, they're just super cool people, so I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch, and the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next review.